Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Remember, brothers and sisters, wicked, deep, devil scammers in the comment section pretending to be me using my name, my profile. It's not me. My name is highlighted in solid gray. So whenever I make a comment or anything, it is in solid gray, sister Carrie Ann. If anybody else come and it's not in solid gray, it is not me. It is a scammer. You need to rebuke them. All my information is in the description box. If you need to contact me or bless me or whatever, God bless you. Okay, brothers and sisters, I quickly want to jump on here because something has come to my attention which I've basically I've basically spoke about this in the video I remember the video I'm gonna link it in the description box or the comment section but I remember I did a video brothers and sisters concerning the wall that Donald Trump uh, was building and in that wall I said that when Trump comes out of power that Barack Obama will finish the wall because I think that when Trump was building the wall, um, you know, the the what do you call it? We may call it now the maybe the Democratic supporters were probably saying, you know, whenever Trump comes out of power and when the Democrats win the election, no more wall will be built. But brothers and sisters, you've got to understand that these people were for Satan. They are literally Luciferians. They're not of the Messiah. They're not of God, not one bit. So when Donald Trump started to build this wall, brothers and sisters, and you know, it was a massive hoorah amongst the various people in America, and um, because you know, some was for it, the Republican Party of people, I think, I don't know, but some people was for it. The Trump supporters were saying, Yeah, Trump build the wall, they even gave all many money, go fund raise money, so much money for Donald Trump to build this wall so that the immigrants the mexicans in particular can stay out of the country because they're saying that the mexicans are wicked right they come and steal all the american jobs and the horrible people according to them but um so in that time brothers and sisters when the wall was being built and everything like that and the lord just gave me the revelation and he put in my spirit and he showed me the what the wall is really for because looking at it in your natural eyes, you'll probably think, oh, you know, Donald Trump was building this wall to, you know, to cut off Mexico, so to speak, the illegal immigrants from coming in the country and burdening America. But brothers and sisters, that is not what I saw in the realm of the spirit. And I've spoke about it. Literally, that wall that Trump was building, that is to lock everybody that lives in the United States of America in due course. So that when push come to shove, those in America, whether you're illegal or you're a natural citizen or whatever, you won't have anywhere to go. That border is going to be closed. Now, why am I saying this, brothers and sisters? Because I received an email from a beloved, thank, you know what? I thank God for my beloved brothers and sisters who sometimes send me email here and there. Thank God for them because sometimes I wouldn't know what's going on and recap back my various visions over the years, but our videos over the years rather. But somebody sent me a link and said, Sister Karen, what you said concerning the wall with Obama, you know, finishing off the wall is correct. So I opened this article and the article, the article basically read something in the lines of Joe Biden, <laughs> Joe Biden. Yeah, Joe Biden is finishing off trump's wall <laughs> when i read it i said god i said father god i said you're not sleeping i said i thank you lord that you've got true prophets and prophetesses and messengers upon the earth that you speak to, to warn your people i've been warned about this and when i met, when i made that comment when i did that video some people were saying oh when donald trump leave office you know the dem if the democrats win no more wall will be built and i'm like it's not about it's not about keeping the mexican out it never been about that that's just a cliche it's about locking the americans in are those living in america that you got nowhere to go when push come to shove brothers and sisters and now joe biden is uh technically finishing off the wall that donald trump has started you see they're all in the same party they all work they all work for lucifer if the wall is that bad and so wicked, 
you know even the democrats were opposing it why would you finish it off why would you finish it off why would you finish off something that's wicked no it's not about the mexicans it's never been about them it's about those living in the, in the united states of america because when the tribulation or you know whenever anything starts nobody will be able to run across the border to go into mexico to hide because the wall is going to be there and at every point of the wall they're going to set up demonic soldiers these soldiers basically is going to have the mark of the beast they're going to be wicked brutal and i kind of doubt that those soldiers are going to be american soldiers i think those are going to be like u.n soldiers yeah china russia and everybody else that's invaded america this is really serious stuff there's a lot going on brothers and sisters and many things have been hidden in the radar because people man is either on the man-made pestilence or man-made pestilent job or celebrities that have died so sto things are things are happening and it's been missed because there are other things that people consume with but like i said you know i thank god that brothers and sister email me and say sister carrie and this is what's going on because these are visions these are videos that i've done over the years and when the lord showed me that that obama will finish up the wall well joe Biden is technically working for obama so he's got to finish it off this is just basically carrying out carrying out obama's policy so the revelation is true brothers and sisters the revelation is true and people have got to know what literally wise up you know open up your eyes become awoke you know what time is it right so you've got to become awoke brothers and sisters in these last days because things are wrapping up and yeah so i wasn't really surprised that joe biden is <laughs> carrying out the work of um carrying out the work of Obama or basically carrying out finishing off what Donald Trump has, has started because if you look at it brothers and sisters you know I'm not in America so you know I don't know the full story of anything but Joe Biden was you know sign out sign away a lot of Trump's policies so why you know if there were such bodies together why didn't he keep Trump policy no but he chose to keep the war why is that since immigration is not such a big issue to the democrats so why do you choose to uh because if you wanted joe biden you know if you wanted you could lick that wall down you could decimate that wall and said no we're not having a border you could do it because you got the power to do it but no you are you're technically finishing off what trump has started and it is sad because people are looking at that and thinking, oh, right. Because, it's, you see, people are so full of hatred in their hearts, you know, of other nations. Some people just don't like other nations. You know, if you're not of a certain color, they just don't like you. So, but the reality of the story is that that same wall that you're praising that same wall that you donate money to or whatever or supporting donald trump of building that is the same wall that's gonna lock you in you won't able and and the lord is gonna bring it back to your remembrance that's the funny thing about it and when you go to that wall and say oh we're gonna get out of america you can't because that wall is a barrier it's a physical barrier you can't scale the wall you can't jump over it because like i said at every point how i saw it in the vision that these are demonic soldiers that have been set up so nobody can get out terrible times ahead we're in the end times brothers and sisters and like i said it really is time for the church to wake up but these are important things that the church need to know about because you don't want to become lost in translation when when it all kicks off you want to be at a place where you know you want to be at a place where when things begin to happen you understand where you are with christ that you don't go into a panic mode and you don't go into a rush mode now you might say to me quickly you might say oh sister karen what about the second exodus 
<laughs> what about the second exodus going into the wilderness with the Americans? You know, um, that's going to leave out of Babylon and the Most High Yah is going to exodus them out. Well, you know, the Lord has many plans. So I believe that, I don't know, I don't want to say what I want to say because, you know, so we'll just watch and see. But don't worry, with the second exodus, you won't be stuck in America. That's, that's not going to happen. The Lord is going to lead you out. He's got a plan. You know what he's doing. So you will be led out by angels. Okay, this is not going to be natural men. They're going to look natural like you and me. But these are, these are angels that's coming for you. So when they come and they knock at your door and they knock and you open up and they said, this is your backpack. You best get ready. You have to be ready. And this is why I said to people, you know, I did a video and I said, make sure you got a backpack. If it's so often you have to go in your backpack because things are expired, just take them out and repack it. You know, or use them before they expire. But angels will come. They will come. They will knock at your doors or if at your workplace or in the streets, supermarket, wherever you are. These beings are going to come to you and they know you and they're going to call you by name. And they're going to say, are you ready? We're going. <laughs> you know? So you've got, so then they know how to get around the wall. Should the wall be fully complete before they come, um, they know how to do it. So I'm not, I'm not worried about that. But the main thing is that you're ready when these angels come. So no wall is gonna stop the Hebrew Israelites in America, and those who belong to Yah. The Most High is gonna take you out and bring you to the wilderness for safety, so that when everything kicks off, you're not in America. Okay. All right, brothers and sisters, so be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Messiah, who lives, oh my gosh, love you, Lord, who lives above the heavens. Yah, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory, in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. And let us say the benediction together. Almost forgot that this is something new that the Lord tells me to do at the end of my video. It's called bened benediction where everybody says um, like a little, it's like a little prayer basically. But I choose, I choose Jude chapter 1 verse 24. So this is a ben benediction. Um, so if you've got your Bible, you can turn to Jude chapter 1 verse 24 and it says now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless sorry before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory majesty dominion and power both now and forevermore amen and amen amen blessings amen